Hello everyone, this is Jemima, also known as The Rocking Stitcher, and I'm back with plus tube number 36. Um, this is a channel about cross stitch, mostly. Um, yeah, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> this morning I uh, got contacted by James, the PH Stitcher, and he was asking, are you going to film a new video this week? And I said, I've been trying for over a week, <laughs> cannot make any promises, but I... I am trying, so I'm making an effort. Um, we've had a, a camp trip. Like I said last time, uh, we were gone for two weeks. And uh, it was really nice to be out for a while. And uh, But it's also hard to get back into the swing of things. Uh, the kids started school again. And um, yeah, that's all really hectic. My youngest is going to a new school th this year. Uh, I think you can compare it to high school in the US. Um, so everything is really new for him and uh, new for mama too. <laughs> so we're adjusting. Uh, and the first weeks it's all really messy and not really structured all that much so uh, uh, yeah we're trying to uh, get back into it uh, and today my my oldest uh, had his second vaccine um, and my youngest will have one in an hour and a half <laughs> so Today is running around and in the evening we we have a meeting at the school of the youngest with my husband and I. So um, it, it's a weird day as well. But if I'm, if I'm not filming today, I've been trying for over a week. So every day I'm like, yeah, I'm, I should film today, I should film today. And then all kind of things happen and then I don't film. So uh, today I was like, doesn't matter, I'm just gonna film. <laughs> Um, so, um, because of the camping trip and the preparation for the cam for the trip, and I, I was stitching, and I've been stitching on, uh, well, not a whole lot of different projects, but still a fair amount. Uh, but I, with the first few, I forgot to take before pictures, and after that, I was like, oh well, for this video, I'm not gonna have before pics. Uh, yesterday I started working on a project and I did make a pic, so I'll probably put that in, but that's the last thing I'll sh I'll be showing you, I think. For all the others, I don't have a before pic, so very little editing for me, <laughs> yay! <laughs> but um, there's no before and after, I'm sorry. Um, after this video I will pick that back up, because I, I, I like to see it myself, and I guess quite a few of you like to see that as well. So uh, next video will be better. Uh, <laughs> it's been 26 days I saw. Almost 27 days since my last video. And it feels all new again. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I'm kind of... I haven't figured out the order of which I was going to talk about things. I haven't figured that out and now I'm trying to figure it out and that's too late. <laughs> I cannot think and film at the same time. So I'll just start showing you stuff. Uh, first project I'm gonna show you as always is So Many Books So Little Time by Randall Spangler. I will po put up what it will look like when it's finished. Um, it's a heaven and earth design. I'm stitching this on 20 count Ubelhar, it's an even weave, and I'm doing it 2 over 1. Uh, it was my first big full coverage, my first heaven and earth design. And um, this is my focus piece, focus for finish this year. And preferably I will uh, finish it on the 22nd of October, because that's the start date as well. I started it in 2017 on that date. So it will be four years. But I still need to do quite a lot. <laughs> I hope I, I can manage it. So here it is now.
yeah, it's looking really good. <laughs> if I do say so myself. So I've been scrolling around on this pattern. I've been working everywhere. Um, and I really enjoyed it, but I kind of missed the focus. Um, and if you work everywhere, nothing gets really done. And I was getting afraid of... Um, um, I, I was trying to uh, do the confetti stitches as well. But um, if you don't focus on an area... Um, there's still, in the end, there will still be so many little stitches left everywhere. So um, then I ended up, I finished this book. Well, the outside of the book. And then um, I focused on, like, there's two rows of pages left, basically, um, that need stitches in them. And it's two rows of six pages, so 12 pages. But the two pages on the bottom over here, I've got those finished now. So it's only 10 pages. <laughs> it's hard math. <laughs> uh, so it's only 10 pages left that need stitching in it. And I was focusing on this page, but there's a lot of chronic still in here. I don't like stitching with chronic. And also I think I might need another spool. I think I... Uh, I'll run out of it just before I'm done with it, and that's annoying. Um, but yeah, doing it this way, um, I love to focus again, and uh, I, 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 um, I, I don't want to end up finishing it and then almost finishing it, and then for a week long only be doing confetti stitches here and there because that that's not. Fun. I don't mind doing them, but um, not a week long, only that. So uh, I'm trying to focus now a bit. I've all also <laughs> at one point uh, tried to focus on uh, reaching the corner over here. So I started working on this side. Didn't reach the corner. <laughs> uh, but yeah, really liking the progress. And... I, it, it's still possible to finish it on the 22nd of October, but it's still a lot of work as well. Um, right now I need to do about 650 stitches each day to finish it in time. And I can do that. Uh, but um, there's not a whole lot of other stitching happening if I try to reach that goal. But um, during the camping trip, trip I brought a whole bunch of stuff because that's what I like to do. <laughs> At one point, my, my son, my oldest son was like, Mom, you have two cupboards full of... And I was like, shh, <laughs> because my husband was near. <laughs> and everything fit in the caravan. So it was all fine. Uh, so I didn't bring too much. <laughs> but I knew exactly what he was going to say. <laughs> Because he noticed it when he was looking for something. He was like, oh, cross stitch. Again, cross stitch. <laughs> so he was like, you have two cupboards. Shh. <laughs> you knew what I was going to say. Yes, I, I know. Shh. We don't talk about that. <laughs> it was funny. But uh, so I did work on a, a couple of projects uh, during the trip. And uh, I first started working on so many books a little time, quite a bit. Well, sort of first. And after a week of only doing that, I was like, I want to work on whatever I want to work on. So I did that. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is something I worked on before. Uh, I did a trip and I only worked on this a little bit. The, you're you're going to see a lot of projects that I did. Well, if at best a couple of hundred stitches on it. But I'm going to show you because I made progress. Uh, this is Hiding Place by Abram Hunter, and it's not a Happen on Earth design, it's uh, the Cross Stitch Studio pattern. Cross Stitch. <laughs> I always mess that name up. The Cross Stitch stu pattern studio. Well, it's one or the other way around. And um, I have shown you what, what it would look like, what it will look like when it's finished, and this is where I am now. Um, 
yeah, I did a bit more on it. Not a whole lot. Um, I'm still missing a lot of colors, but I did get quite a few new ones. So I filled in stuff and uh, got some progress. Because, frankly, I get nervous from all these... Not from the starts, but uh, from starts that have very little progress in them. So now my, my focus is on so many books a little time, of course. But after that, I would love to um, get all these starts up a bit. Like one page done or 10,000 stitches done or something like that. Um, I've been thinking about this yesterday. And I saw a video of someone saying something similar. Uh, she she also does a lot of full coverages, and I cannot remember who it was. I know it's someone I really love to watch, so it might be Alma Little from Alma's Little Wonder or Amy from Creative Create Creativity by Gitch. But I I don't I don't remember. Uh, it was someone who said the same thing. Uh, she wanted to finish. A first page on all the the hate she started and then come back and do a second page and have them all uh, um, with a decent amount of progress instead of uh, a few starts like like this like just a little start and then put it away for a year that's that's not why we started them so um, I, I'm not making I told I talked about it last time. I'm not making any goals anymore. I'm um, not set in stone goals, not goals that I really want to reach, but it's just like a general idea in my head that I'd, I'd love to give them all some love. So, um, but first, so many books, a little time. So another thing I worked on before the trip is a Pick Up Plumage by oh, 25 count, one over one. 25 count look at um, All the other full coverages you're gonna see are on 25 count look stitch one over one. That's my preferred method. Um, yeah, this is Pick Up Plumage. It's by Sue Taylor. It's um, Heaven and Earth design. Uh, I started this with um, Lydia, Lovely Stitches, um, and Mika, Darling Bluebell. Mika put it aside, you voted for now, uh, but uh, Lydia and I are still really enjoying this and um, it's so amazing. These colors, yeah, they really make me happy. Um, there's someone on Instagram who's just finished the top two, top two rows of pages and it's looking so good. <laughs> And I love working on this. It's um, yeah, it's a really fun stitch. I love working with bright colors. That, that's that's just what makes me happy. So from now on, it's um, camp uh, campsite stitching. Uh, I worked on this a tiny bit. This is um, quick stitch blue blue butterfly. I'm stitching this with uh, Emma <laughs> uh, Emma X stitching. Everything, every one I mention will be linked down uh, in the drop down box below. Um, oh, this is by. Again, I didn't look it up and I always min mispronounce the name. Um, and I don't really mind if I mispronounce it, but at least I should know the name. Ching Chow Kyuk. Or something like that. Um, yeah, this is where I am now. Yeah, I'm showing it correctly. Um, I did work on it for one day, I think. Did um, did a lot more in the green. Finished stitches up everywhere. And this is such a tiny piece. This is the smallest piece I have. And I would love to have this finished this year, have it finished this year as well, but we'll see. Again, not set in stone. Trying to be good about that because I know 
how my mind works. <laughs> um, then this one is Out on a Limb by Amy Stewart. Have a note design. Stitch on 25 count. Lucana 1 over 1. And I did a really tiny bit on this one. Let's show it correctly. This is how far I am now. Can you see I have to lean forwards? I didn't push the table towards the couch and now I don't want to do it because it will make a lot of noise for you. <laughs> but okay. Uh, this is where I am now. I just did, I filled in some things and I really did only a bit on this one. But again, a small one. But this one has a lot of confetti so far. It's harder stitching than the, the butterfly. But there's a butterfly in here as well. And this one is so cute. I love the image of this one. Uh, another thing I worked on on the camping trip. Um, that's also because uh, Diane, she's Forgan Fudge on Inst no on here on YouTube and Diane. I don't remember Diane X Stitch or something on Instagram, but uh, her channel will be linked down below. She and Alice, hi Alice, um, uh, started working on this Night Fairy by uh, Maria van Scharenburg, started by Lenarte. And Debbie and I were already start, uh, stitching this, but we didn't start it together, but we were encouraging each other. And um, now Diane and um, Alice, um, they work on this every Sunday. They have a hashtag, Night Sunday Night Fairy Cell, I think it is. I'm not really good <laughs> with remembering hashtag or remembering anything. Um, but because they work on this every Sunday and they show it on Instagram, um uh, every sunday i'm like oh wait i probably should work on this too <laughs> and it helps it, it, i'm not working on it every sunday but i try more now um so that's really good so thank you girls and this is where i am now i did finish the point of the of the wing did go down a bit and you, you can hardly see it, but I've done a few strands in there and that's really boring stitches, stitching. It's just light stitches, that's not my favorite. And bo blocks, not my favorite, but I'm, uh, every time I, t I pick this up, I'm trying to do a few strands in there because the moon is big. <laughs> so I was really happy to have some progress on that as well. Yeah, uh, I already did the day fairy. I keep telling that, <laughs> but there's always new subscribers, and um, um, I would love to have them both framed next to my bed. So um, yeah, I really want to have that finished. But I also really enjoy stitching on it. I love the Narta kits. I love the fabric they have in the kits. I, I just love everything about it. But there's so much to stitch. <laughs> um, then something I worked on on my camping trip. And th this just had to go with me. Because when I started this. Uh, a couple of years ago. Three years ago I think. Uh, I also had a, ca a camp trip with my parents. Just like this time. And then my s uh, brother and sister-in-law joined us as well. They... Um, uh, and my sister-in-law is Jantina from Jantina Stitches. And she will be linked down as well. And um, we stitch together a lot. And I brought this project and I stitched on this a whole lot because it's all summer. It's uh, the Potting Shed by, a yeah, by Amy Stewart, Heaven and Earth Designs. And um, yeah, I really, really, really love this pro project. And th this reminds me of camping and of being outside and somewhere and so it had to come with me on this trip as well so here i am now there's 
Uh, really, there's threads everywhere. <laughs> Cannot do anything about that, sorry. Um, I went up all the way there. Uh, what I did is finish this page. This is the only one that I'm doing diagonal pages in. So I started over there, then did this one, this one, those three ones. And then I started doing this one and I got this finished. Um, and then did a tiny bit more on this part, but I really wanted to have that page finish. And um, try to um, finish the threads as far as it could get me without skipping too much. Uh, so that's why I basically am at the end of the next page as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I really love this so much. Yeah. This is the one that after the two pieces I'm making for my sons. This, is, this has the most progress on it. Even though I didn't do a whole lot on it this year. Uh, so it felt really good to, uh, I cannot fold anymore. Uh, it felt really good to um, get another page finished, to get uh, a decent amount of stitching in. So that's that one. I think there's only one more. Yes, just one more. Uh, this is the thing I picked up yesterday evening. Uh, so we'll have a before pick. Uh, this is... Um, Farewell to Anger by Leonid Evramov. Heaven and Earth Design. Um, yeah. Um, you, so many people are stitching on this. And uh, here I am now. I will do before and after. So I only did about 300 stitches, I think. Just a little bit. But this whole corner is done now, filled in the last few stitches. And this is so much fun. I love the splashes of color and there's quite a bit of confetti in there. Well, there's a lot of black and 939. Um, if, you, if you would uh, cross country it and start with those two colors, you would have 20% almost done. <laughs> And there's one, um, I think, 3371. Uh, no, there's, there's also a dark green, 3031 or something. I don't remember. Uh, but if you would have those dark colors done first, you would have like 30% done or something. Um, but then the rest is all these splashes of colors and those, they, those have the confetti stitches, but it's so much fun. Yeah, really enjoy this. So that's all. <laughs> um, I didn't get any haul, but what I did get, and that made me so happy. A couple of days ago, I woke up. Um, and I found something in my email. No, let's do that differently. Um, I got a rack, a random, I, bleh, a random act of kindness from a viewer. And she gifted me this hate. And for the ones that are have been following me for a few months, I've seen this before. I cannot get the glare out, sorry. Um, I, requ we, I requested this uh, version, it's the supersized uh, color expansion, it has 150 colors because there was only a regular version and a supersized max color and I didn't mind doing the supersized, even though it's, it will be my third, <laughs> but I didn't want to do the max colors because that's like 250 colors I think and that would be so much confetti and I don't mind some confetti but a lot of confetti I I, I was afraid I would never finish it so I re requested I wanted to request a supersized and then I was like 
but maybe it needs uh, a bit more color than just a regular 90 colors. So I requested a supersized color expansion. It was the first time I requested something, but Michelle was really helpful. Um, so I emailed her and uh, we messaged back and forth and uh, I could get my order in correctly. And uh, it was... Uh, yeah, it, it, it was charted now, it was in my wish list and I was waiting for a sale. Which, by the way, there is a sale on the Heaven and Earth Designs website, so go check them out. <laughs> it's dangerous, but still, <laughs> so much fun. Um, but now, uh, Angel Saunders gifted this to me, and it made me so happy. And then again, a couple of days later, she 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 started binge watching all my videos, and uh, I've been getting comments here and there on videos, and it was so much fun. And then she gifted me this and a couple of days later she found a video with the buy me a coffee link. And uh, she gifted me a, co a coffee flosses as well. So thank you so much Angel. And um, I'm gonna miss all your comments because this morning uh, you commented on my last video. So uh, I'm gonna miss them. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for this pattern. And um, I'm kidding. I mean... I'm gonna order the fabric and the flosses in hopefully this week and I will start that as soon as so many books a little time is over so the 22nd or the 23rd of October I will start that and then there's I need to order the fabric and the way the sizes work there's always leftover fabric so I will have uh, two smaller pieces left and then there's something more in the I might start something else as well, but um, the, uh, I will get to that when, um, well, not now. <laughs> I cannot tell you what I'm going to start, <laughs> but I'm going to start something else as well. And uh, I'm really excited about that as well. And then, yeah, I, I still have fabric left then a bit. So I, there might be another start as well in my future, but who knows? Um... So after so many books, so little time is finished, I will not uh, follow any more rules or goals. Or I have my web go for this year and um, I'm probably going to try to finish that. But that just means working on all my heaven and earth designs uh, that are not that new. Um, so I don't mind doing that. Uh, what the Hall Master will be my next focus piece, but not with uh, with a real goal uh, of I don't have a date in mind, I don't have a year in mind. I uh, I just want to give that the most attention because it's a super size and it's for my so many books so little times for my older son and What the Hall Master super sized is for my youngest son and I I really want to finish it for him as well. By the time he moves out. Because it's too big to put in his bedroom. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. But I, I, I don't want to have that linger around. For 10 years or longer. Uh, so that will be my focus piece. But um, besides that. I really want to do Sweewee. Is this what you want when you want? Because uh, that that's what makes me. That is what makes me happy. Um. Yeah, the, I, I'm gonna save shout outs and that kind of stuff for next time because my head is not in the right place for even filming. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I think I will leave it at this. Um, thank you all for watching and uh, subscribing and commenting. I really, really appreciate it so much. If you want to support my channel, uh, there's a buy me a coffee link in the drop down box below uh, and if you have any questions or anything um, just ask I usually get back to comments usually I did on the last video so yay <laughs> uh, but you can ask me anything uh, about my stitching or whatever uh, and um, yeah I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and stitching I hope everyone has their stitchy bug present um, and can find some relief in stitching because I know it really helps me. 
Um, yeah, it's a shorter one. I'm proud of that. <laughs> so um, I hope to see you soon. Bye. And I'm back because I forgot something, of course. Um, if you've watched Creatively, Creatively Yours or Jantina, Jantina Stitches, um, they will be drop, uh, linked in the drop down box below. I heard a door. Um, they talked about, Alice is thinking about um, organizing um, yeah, a retreat. It's a get together. It's not going to be massive. It's uh, just a way of seeing some stitches, getting together. And she's thinking about doing it somewhere around March, April next year, I think. Nothing is set in stone yet. But um, she would love to know if um, people are interested in that. If they are interested in a one day thing or in a weekend, like two days or something. Um, it's all like, like COVID isn't over and she's very much aware of that. And if uh, she will only... Have it happen if it's safe. So, but if you want to organize something, you have to plan ahead. And that's what she's doing. She's uh, trying to see if there's interest in it. Uh, it will be like 30, 40 people if, if there are... Uh, that, that, I think that's what she's, ha she's having in mind. But um, yeah, if, if you're interested, interested in such a thing, somewhere in the Netherlands... Um, just let me know so I can uh, let her know so she can know what she can plan um, I think that's all the information so beginning of 2022 March, April a get together would you be interested in one day multiple days um, yeah anything you uh, have in mind let me know and I, I'll get it back to uh, her uh, so she can start to plan. And um, yeah, that's what I forgot to mention. <laughs> I, thought I, 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 I thought about this so much last week and I was going to film last week and then I didn't film. But in my head, I already had this talk with you, so but I didn't. <laughs> so here it is. I'll put it somewhere in the end or somewhere in my video. And uh, that was it. Bye.